Welcome back to 6.5 on the road at uh, Computex this week. I'm Olivia Blanchard and with co-host Anshul Sag. And we're here today talking with Benjamin Ye. Let me get this right. ASUS Computer, President North America Systems Business Group. Welcome. Thank uh, thanks you, for joining us. And I guess we're going to be talking a little bit about the uh, Snapdragon uh, X Elite platform. And I know that Anshul has a question that he's been dying to ask you, so I'll just let him start. <laughs> yeah, so ASUS has been really known for taking risks in our industry and aggressively innovating on design and form factor. So how is the ASUS VivoBook S15 different from other ASUS's endeavors in, in the PC space? Got it. Um, thanks for the question. Um, so. In ASUS, we are very proud of our engineering capabilities, and we have uh, this is a one third, more than one third of our employees worldwide are engineers, and uh, so we're trying to this uh, bring innovation to the market, like the uh, the first they say uh, the first um, uh, twin one laptop, the first uh, they say netbook a uh, decades ago, mm -hmm. and the first dual screen laptop, uh, we, and uh, we just launched uh, Zenbook Duo also last year, so. Latest VivoBook S15 Snapdragon device. Um, basically, this is our first Copada Plus PC, and uh, so we launched it together with Microsoft and Qualcomm. And basically, has a full Gen AI feature, and also at the same time, um, they say we instead of keeping the product at a very, as they say, as a super high price point, we keep it as more mainstream so that everybody can enjoy the device. And so everybody can benefit from the Copada Plus, uh, this uh, AI, uh, AI features. So basically, that's what we have. Uh, so we are start, it's starting from twelve ninety nine. Uh, so quite a mainstream price point for the latest innovation. And so uh, it has the three K OLED screen, and so it's, it's it just look fantastic. And also it has more than sixteen hours uh, battery life. So this is a four day uh, computing capability. So yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's what we see what we are we're having right now. Right. So you've had a long-standing relationship with uh, with Qualcomm. Yeah. Uh, so how has that been an advantage in developing these uh, these new Copio Plus PCs for you guys? Yeah. So Asus, we we not only produce laptop and desktop, but we also have our phone business, mm -hmm. and we have products across they say all different so they say platforms and um, uh, different technologies. So. We started our Qualcomm. They said we started our partnership with Qualcomm like more than a decade ago. So, like I think it's 2008, uh, we were they said working with Qualcomm to launch our first our Qualcomm-based uh, tablet device. And also starting from Zenfone 3, our smartphone, the third-generation smartphone, and so that was, I think we launched it in 2016. And that's what they say. Ever since we've been working with Qualcomm for the latest phone, uh, this is smartphone uh, with the latest this uh, Qualcomm processors, uh, in a, well, for more than a decade. And uh, so, working with Qualcomm in different uh, product categories and different platforms, that enabled us to understand their architecture, to understand their technology much better. And, much, and so, so we are very familiar with their products, with their devices, and the perfect balance between performance and battery life, and multi-task capabilities. And so, so that helped us to launch the latest uh, they say devices, and also embedded with all the different features. So you have quite a few uh, new Copilot Plus PCs out in the market. Um, and I, I've been wondering, um, in terms of differentiation and trajectory for, for the ASUS brand, where do you think uh, AI PCs, and specifically through Copilot Plus PCs, where do you think things are going next uh, for the market and also specifically for, for you guys? Got it. I mean, in the end of the day, um, all PC will be AI uh, sooner or later, or well, sooner than later. <laughs> and so, so this year we are looking at, well, every company have their own, def or every person have their own definition of AI PC. But if, it's, if we define AI PC as the capability for the say, generated AI capabilities and also to helping the people to finish their tasks in a different way, in a revolutionary way, uh, I think the, let's say this year trajectory is like single digit in the market would be the so-called AI PC. But within three years, we will have got to this uh, good double digit. And so, uh, and then afterwards, obviously, all the PC will be AI. Um, for us, um, uh, for ASUS, 
this uh, we we because we have many different hardware devices and also we have many different solutions we have HAI and we have cloud AI we have client AI devices and so and we work with different vendors and uh, different partners so we believe that we with our innovation capability we can bring the um, the they say the the best combination of AI devices to the market so i was wondering do you foresee you know, I'm a big gamer, so I was curious if you see any ROG-based Republic of Gamers Copilot Plus PCs coming from you guys anytime soon, or do you see Copilot Plus PCs mostly as non-gaming systems, even though I think I saw a tough system announced yesterday? Mm -hmm. Yep, and so this is a, um, um, together with Qualcomm, um, they say right now, or they say with Snapdragon, uh, on our they say on our roadmap, we currently we are not releasing any they say uh, gaming based devices for Copilot Plus PC, um, but then please stay tuned. And this uh, we have a lot of different devices announcing now and also in the future. Great. And I also wanted to talk to you about uh, you know the Asus event happened yesterday, and you guys had a multitude of systems announced, but the one really interesting system that I was excited about was the PZ13, mm -hmm. which is a really interesting concept where it's both a creative device, it's also a tablet, and it's a rugged device. Yes. And it has a Snapdragon X Elite inside of it. So could you maybe tell us about how you guys arrived at such a device and, and maybe where, where, where you guys thought that this was a perfect fit for the market? Because, you know, I, I wasn't expecting to see a rugged <laughs> tablet out of a SUS. And, and, and I, you know, I'm just curious to see what you think. So. Proud laptop is a new category we are going to bring to the mainstream market uh, they say in this year. And so in Proud family, they, we have a regular clamshell uh, laptop, and we have a convertible laptop, and then the most important, we, have, we work with uh, uh, Qualcomm for the Snapdragon-based uh, uh, tablet. It comes with IP52, uh, uh, they say, so it's a rugged device. And Basically, the whole Pro family, what we are looking at is for the creators on the go. So the creators, when they are on the road, and uh, if they just have some kind of idea, they want to do something with that idea, with a specific idea, they can just do it anytime, anywhere. And together with Snapdragon, uh, they say a uh, Copilot Plus, uh, they say a uh, PC feature, um, they can just generate the content they want and they, they need at that specific moment and without any boundary. And so for that purpose, we believe a tablet is a perfect platform uh, to serve this kind of, uh, they say, a scenario. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. It's like instantaneous creativity paired with AI, which accelerates that instantaneous creativity into something even bigger. Yep, and we embed our Pro series with our, they say, with Asus proprietary software, uh, different AI softwares, and so uh, that will just, uh, they say, complete or complement the whole AI experience. So Benjamin, thank you so much. Uh, unfortunately, that's all the time we have left. So on behalf of Anshul and myself, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, stay tuned, there's a lot more content coming, but don't forget to hit that subscribe button, follow us on all of our social channels, and don't go too far because we're coming back with a lot more coverage of Computex. Thank <laughs> you.